welcome back to my channel if you're new here what's up my name is lisa definitely make sure you subscribe today i have a super fun video for you guys at least i think it's gonna be fun i'm going to be recreating a couple of my favorite pinterest looks slash outfits i've seen videos like this before i don't, i haven't actually watched them but i've seen them like pop up in my recommended and I thought it'd be a fun video to do. So I actually picked out eight outfits. I don't know if I'm going to do all of them. We'll see like how far I get. I basically just put together um, photos of eight of my favorites. And then I kind of wrote down what pieces I need for each one. Um, and they're all pretty simple. I feel like. Like when I look at like the pieces I need. Like I feel like everyone kind of has that. Or is like easy to get. So... I'm just gonna get started. I was thinking I'm first just gonna go into my closet and pick out all the outfits and then after I've picked them all out I'll show you guys what they look like um, just in my mirror and I will obviously leave like links to all the pieces down below and maybe it'll also give you some outfit inspo um, and just kind of show you that obviously like saving outfits on Pinterest is like super fun to do but it's still quite realistic to like recreate them like it's really not that hard and at least I think it's not <laughs> and yeah that's kind of what I want to do in this video and show you guys so if you're interested in seeing the outfits that I'll be putting together and to get some like outfit as well make sure to keep on watching so the first fit is an oversized knit with some faux leather pants black boots and a shoulder bag my mom actually just went to wash my faux leather pants um or like a pair of leggings that i have so i'm gonna try to i have multiple but those were kind of like fitted so i'm gonna see if i can hold up okay luckily my mom did not start washing this yet so i can actually use this <laughs> so it's some faux leather like pants or well i don't know if hers are faux leather but i don't have real leather pants so these are a pair of faux leather leggings from um zara and i thought they'd be nice because they have a little bit of a flare and since we're wearing like an oversized knit it's nice to have something fitted underneath kind of they are kind of wrinkled hopefully that won't show too much and then an oversized knit I don't think I have a gray knit, which is she's wearing gray. I don't think I have that. Let's see what I do have. I have a lot. I'm thinking maybe maybe this one. I think that would be cute. I don't know if it's gray. What else? She's wearing black boots, so I would pair my powder boots underneath it. Let me grab them. They are kind of dirty, but these boots. And then she's wearing a shoulder bag, so my bags are over here. I would just actually no. This one. I have a lot of bags, but I think this bag would be cute. This is a bag from Monkey. Kind of faux patent leather look with some like textures on it. I think that would be cute. She is wearing some sunglasses. I'll be extra and add some. These are some black sunnies. These are my favorite um, from Naked. Okay, outfit number two is an oversized leather jacket with a white crop top and like mid blue wash jeans and then a kind of like cream ish tote bag. First off, I have a couple of leather or faux leather jackets. Hers is definitely oversized, so I could go for. I could go for a blazer, but I think it'll be cuter if I go for like a shirt. Ugh. Okay, so this is a faux leather um, shirt from Bershka. And I got this one in a medium large, so it's oversized. I wanted to wear this like white baby tee from PLT underneath, but I think it's in the wash. So this one's from Urban Outfitters. And I'll just tuck it into my bra to make it more cropped. And then we need some mid-wash blue jeans, which I think I actually wore an outfit similar to this before. Oh, I have them over here. I think these jeans are going to be perfect. These are from Weekday, and they're like a really nice medium blue wash. And then a creamish tote bag. I have this. It's kind of big, but would that be cute? Like this tote bag? I'll just stuff something in there. That's cute. Okay. So that's outfit number two. You see how easy it is? I think what's like important when you try to recreate outfits just as a tip is to first kind of write down the pieces that are in the outfit because I feel like if you're just looking at it, you're going to try to find something that looks exactly like the outfit. But if you literally just write down like I did, like oversized leather jacket, a white crop top, then you don't have to necessarily look at the photo to pick out the outfit. You can just kind of do it 
just look at your closet and see what do I have that is that fits this description. You know what I mean? Okay, outfit number three is an oversized blazer with straight leg pants, sneakers, and a shoulder bag. So she's wearing black, and I do have black straight leg pants over here. These are from Bershka, and she's wearing a white top underneath. So I'm just I'm probably just gonna wear the same white top from Urban, um, so I don't have to like grab twenty thousand things. And then she's wearing an oversized blazer, also in black, which I have this one from Monkey. Um, that would go perfectly. And then she's wearing sneakers. She, I think she's wearing, yeah, she's like, they're white. So I'm just going to go for my Balenciaga track too. I have no idea what the other girl's shoes were, so I'm probably just going to wear like some sneakers or boots underneath um, for the second outfit. And she's wearing a shoulder bag, so I would just go with probably the same black one. Outfit number four is a cream trench coat with black pants, a sweatshirt, and sneakers. I didn't even realize this before, but I'm noticing that there's a lot of like um, item repeats, if that makes sense. So like, she's wearing black pants again. I can wear the exact same pants from outfit number three. And that's kind of like, it's a really nice way to... Um, like by doing this you can kind of create like almost like a capsule wardrobe because you realize that there's like a lot of the outfits have like repeating items and you can like style these different items so many different ways i hope it makes sense i don't know okay i'm gonna grab my trench coat um i'm gonna wear the same black pants from bershka i don't know what color switch it is i think it's white or gray and then she's wearing white sneakers again i'll grab some do i have a white sweatshirt I don't think I do. I think I'll just grab a gray one. Yeah, I'll just do a gray sweatshirt. And then we'll do the white sneakers. And all I really have to grab is my trench coat, which I have right here. This one is from Mango, but I got it on ASOS. Now we're gonna head on to the last four. I thought this was gonna be a lot harder, but it's so easy. And this is really fun. I had everything laid out on my bed. I know you can't see it. Maybe I should move my camera so you can see it a little see it's all over there i'm just putting it in piles okay so outfit number five is an oversized blazer i think she's wearing like a leather blazer um she's wearing like a sweater with a skirt a cross body bag and then black boots um i don't have ties like that first off oversized leather blazer this is my favorite one. It's from Zara. And then she's wearing like a... I actually have a Zara sweater that looks kind of similar. So this one. This is kind of like a cropped sweater. And then she's wearing it with a black skirt, which I'm going to have to check if I have a good one. I'll grab some tights as well. Tights, black boots we have, which I'll just wear the Prada ones. Actually, it would be cute to wear because she has like knee-high tights on which I don't have but I do have these boots from Zara so I guess I'll just wear it with that that kind of creates the same effect um oh yeah black skirt let's see I cannot wait to move so I have a bigger closet which is such a luxury problem but it will give me so much more peace of mind you guys I mean I have this skirt it's kind of more of like a tennis skirt but I really don't wear skirts a lot this skirt Okay, actually, this one would work better. Okay. Okay. She's oh, a crossbody bag. Let me get my favorite new bag. I'm pretty sure this is the only crossbody bag that I own now, and it's my Balenciaga hourglass bag. It's like an early Christmas present to myself. I'm in love with her. Outfit number six. It's quite similar. Hello. Outfit number six is quite similar to the other one. Um, but it's a regular black oversized blazer. She's wearing a black dress, and I thought it would be cute to wear this um this is a men's sweater from bershka but i got it in i think in what is it a large so it fits like a dress on me and we can add the um knee high zara boots on top of that and that's like the outfit done outfit number seven is a brown legging set and i picked this because i actually have one which is great this isn't something that's going to be in your closet i have one in a drawer down here this is a legging set from everlane um looks like this with a little bra top so she's wearing it with some high socks i'll wear these seductive socks my white sneakers and then i'll put the black blazer on top 
and that's literally the outfit. And then the last outfit, there's a lot of blazers in these outfits, but I just love blazers, you guys. It's a black blazer with a black crop top, asymmetrical jeans, and sneakers. I actually want to pair it with these jeans, which are the same ones as the mid-wash jeans that I showed you guys, but they're obviously a lighter wash. So they're the weekday skew jeans, black crop top. Let's see. I can do like this. This one's from Urban as well. Or is it? Yeah, it's Urban Outfitters. I'll probably tuck it into my bra to make it even more cropped. We can add one of the black blazers. Maybe I'll do the leather one just to switch it up. And then we can just add the same white sneakers. I'm going to explain my sneaker collection very soon. I feel like I've been wearing the same sneakers over and over, but... Actually, maybe we can switch it up and wear it with these. And just to add a pop of color. So I barely wear these anymore. They're so heavy. I don't know. So these are all the fits laid out so i'm now gonna go ahead and put on all the outfits and show you guys what it looks like in the mirror um because i just don't have space to do like a full body shot as soon as i move you guys this content like stuff like this is gonna be so much better just stay tuned for that i'm so excited but let's go ahead and try on all these outfits and i'm excited so this is outfit number one um my hair is probably gonna get so messy throughout this video but that's fine um okay Fit number one. So we have the oversized sweater. This one is from ASOS. Um, it's from the men's section. And then I'm wearing these leggings from Zara with my Prada boots and the monkey bag. And then the black naked sunglasses. I think this is such a cute little fit. Um, it's perfect for every day. Like even just like going to school and stuff. Um, if you guys are going to school because I am not full time. But we do have a couple of in-person classes. I think this is a really cute outfit to wear. Um, obviously perfect for winter you can layer underneath this if it's super cold like wear another pair of leggings underneath these and then obviously you can like wear like long sleeves underneath your sweater and I think this is a super cute ooh, let me, I think this is a super cute little outfit love it oh my god okay so this is fit number two i decided to pair it with some white sneakers just to kind of give it more of that casual feel so i'm wearing the mid blue um jeans from weekday and then i tucked my top into my bra to make it cropped and then obviously i have on the faux leather shirt which is from bershka and i added this cute little tote bag from yes style because she's wearing kind of like a cream colored tote bag and I think this is an amazing outfit. Why is it not focusing? I think this is an amazing outfit. Um, I would absolutely wear this like school and stuff. It might be too cold if it's like freezing outside. But or for like regular winter weather. Like I'm pretty sure today it's like maybe 7 degrees or something. I could get away with wearing this obviously with a jacket outside. But like indoors like this should be fine. So, so cute. Oh my god. Oh my god you guys. Outfit number 3 is so cute. I don't know why I never thought of wearing this together before. Um, I'm wearing the naked sunglasses and I went with this small black shoulder bag instead of the other one from Monkey. Same white top with the Monkey blazer and then the Bershka pants and then my white sneakers. I am obsessed with this look and I'm actually going to hang it all together because I want to wear this like ASAP. Like this is, oh my god, so powerful with the hair like that, like the cute little like bun with the little shit at the top <laughs> and then the black sunglasses this is everything i'm obsessed wow 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 so outfit number four looks like this i feel like this would have been cuter with a white sweatshirt but i don't have one um i do have a white hoodie but i kind of like the collared look of the trench coat but i'm wearing the same pants and shoes as the last outfit and then i added this adenola sweatshirt with my mango um trench coat and this is kind of more of like a relaxed look just like quickly going out maybe like getting groceries or something you know and it's like raining so you want to wear a trench coat i think it's really cute i feel like this would look probably better with some black boots um but obviously i'm like going by what the outfit looks like but i think if i wear this with black boots it will look really cute especially because i'm shorter and this coat already makes me look even shorter than i am so that's outfit number four this is outfit number five i decided to take down my hair because it was getting so messy um i think it's really cute it's definitely different for what i'm used to but i think it's like a super cute feminine look um, so I'm wearing this sweater from Zara with the skirt from Yes Style, which is quite tight, but 
you know with the blazer on top it's fine blazer is from zara as well um some tights from h&m and then the boots are also zara and like i said before the bag is balenciaga naked sunglasses super cute kind of more like fancy i feel like maybe if you were to go out like shopping for like a day or you're like grabbing lunch and we can't really do that right now because everything's closed but once you can do that again i think this is a really cute fit for that or maybe like I don't know like a special occasion what do you guys think of my hair like this i haven't worn it down like this in probably over a year maybe even longer than that it's so weird i threw my hair up in like a half up half down look at that one piece just sticking up so annoying but i'm obviously wearing the same boots and tights as the last outfit as well as the same blazer and the same bag all i really did was put on this black sweater dress but you can just tell how different the outfit like instantly gets um it's a lot more casual i would definitely wear something like this to school and i am obsessed with it and i think obviously changing up the hairstyle also does something um i don't know if i like this half up half down i'd probably have to slick down that ponytail a little bit more because it's like sticking up but yeah this is a really cute outfit you guys so this is outfit number seven i think i've actually worn something similar to this to school before i'm wearing the legging set from everlane i will try to leave a couple more alternatives down below if i can find them but this one's really good quality so i would recommend it then i'm again wearing the monkey blazer with my balenciaga bag i think she's wearing like a creamish bag in the photo but i think black looks better then just wear my hair in a little ponytail. I added some set active socks. You can also just add like Nike socks or any like high crew socks. And then my white sneakers. Super cute. Oh my god. I love this. This is like sporty chic. You know, I just came from the gym. But I also have a business meeting type of look. So this is outfit number eight, which is also the last outfit of um, the video. I think this turned out super cute. She is wearing a shoulder bag, but I thought crossbody looked nice as well. And then obviously I'm wearing the same monkey blazer, the Urban Outfitters t-shirt that I tucked into my bra. Weekday jeans in a lighter wash. These are absolutely my favorite. Like both washes are, fit is just perfect. And then I'm wearing my triple S sneakers from Balenciaga. Just add that pop of pink, which I think is really cute. Um, just to give like a little bit of color, but still neutral, if that makes sense. I think this is a great everyday fit for like school or work or just like going out for lunch, like literally doing anything. It's not too dressy, but it's also not too casual. I think it's a great mixture of both and I'm obsessed. Period. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. And of course, subscribe and turn on my post notifications so that you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Like I said, I will be leaving links to everything down below. I'll also try to find some alternatives, especially for like some of the designer items that I did style into these outfits. All of this should be really easy to recreate. And I would love to see if you guys recreate any of these outfits. Make sure to send it to me on like Instagram or something. Follow me on Instagram as well because I post on there every single day whether that's on my story or on my feed i'm always active thank you so much for watching i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video